Do you know the room temperature now? Is the water suitable for drinking? Will it be too cold or too hot? The melting point of ice should be zero degrees Celsius, is it? Is this cup of hot water at the boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius? To answer these questions, we can use a thermometer. There are two kinds of thermometers in the laboratory. The first one is a mercury thermometer that is made of mercury. Another one is the alcohol thermometer. The inner red substance is the dyed alcohol. The red line climbs up to this point from zero to the maximum 100 degrees Celsius. It implies that this thermometer can measure temperature ranges from zero to 100 degrees Celsius. In between 20 to 30 degrees Celsius, there are 10 marks. In between each mark, it further divides into 10 small portions, each representing 1 degree Celsius. The scale uncertainty is 0.5 degrees Celsius. To measure the temperature of the water, we immerse the thermometer into the water. Then wait while the temperature becomes steady. Then we record the temperature and we see that the reading is approximately 26.0 degrees Celsius. Heat the water with a Bunsen burner and the temperature of the water will increase as well. For a more accurate measurement, we stir the water thoroughly by a stirrer to keep a uniform temperature throughout the water. Okay, we remove the water and then we immerse the thermometer in the water's center. Wait until the alcohol rises to a steady temperature and then take the reading. This is 65 degrees Celsius. Now since the scale uncertainty is 0.5 degrees Celsius, the reading will be 65 degrees Celsius plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. If we want to know the temperature difference of water before and after it's heated, we have to deduct the before from the after temperatures. That's 65.0 minus 25.0 plus or minus 1 degree Celsius. When measuring, remember to put the thermometer in the center. Now don't touch the bottom or the sides of the beaker. Also, we should use a stirrer to stir the water and maintain a uniform temperature throughout the water.